Those familiar with my channel would have noticed that when I need to do a job and I can't find suitable videos on YouTube, I figure it out and then produce a video. Judging from the positive feedback from users, it looks like I'm hitting the nail on the head. In this video, I'm fixing a problem I had with my geezer wise, losing its settings during long spells of load shedding or mains power outages. This results in the geezer switching on at the wrong times, meaning you end up with cold water and wasting expensive electricity. At least one saving grace on my system is that it uses a 12 volt pump which runs on solar power during the day, which is ideal during load shedding preventing the panel from overheating. When previously working on my GeezerWise Max, I vaguely remembered seeing a battery backup connection, but could not find any videos on YouTube. The best I found on Google was a semi-technical manual showing connections, but comparing this with my unit suggests that it's not the same model. At least one can safely assume that the negative connections of the PV panel, battery and pump are all connected together, which later proved to be correct. The manual suggests a 4 amp hour 12 volt battery, but I had a selection of old 7 amp hour UPS batteries, which I assumed would work fine. So I selected one that still looks usable, grabbed some twin flex wire and crimped spade connectors on the battery end. Although the wire has a colored cotton indicator inside, marking which is positive, I made sure by putting a knot in the positive as well. Since I'm worried that a battery will not survive the extreme temperatures in the attic, I investigated placing it in a nearby cupboard, for which I still need to make a small shelf. Next, I drilled a hole through the ceiling and threaded the wire all the way to the geezer wise controller's mainboard, which is screwed to the rafters just above the geezer. As I said before, the battery negative connects with the others to ground or GND and the battery positive, as the one with the knot in, to BAT plus or battery plus and I double checked the connections are all good. Before connecting up the battery I double checked the polarity again but I also wanted to see what the no load voltage is. It is quite high actually 15 volts so I hope it does not overcharge the battery but one really needs an oscilloscope to check the waveform. Anyway trusting that it would be fine I connected up the battery and checked the voltage again. I saw it was charging. The battery was 12.6 okay, volts. A quick check to see what happens when I switch off the geezer showed that the geezer wise keeps going. Normally the PV panel is starting to struggle to keep it going at this time of day. So things look good so far. After a few hours of charging, I checked the battery voltage. It's a little high, so I hope it'll be okay in the long run. I again checked during daytime load shedding when the PV panel is also working and saw the battery at a healthy 13.75 volt. Although I can simply flip the main switch, I still waited for load shedding that night and checked the battery voltage about 45 minutes later, a nice 13 volt exactly. And again an hour later, still 12.97 volt, with the geezer wise display as bright as when it's on the mains. So it all looks good, like it'll work. 